Hello, everyone. This is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary pacifist Coral Let's Play. We continue for episode 4 from turn 40 in the summer season of 198. So last time we became the vassal to Tzol Tzol, and I'm pretty happy with the decision. We are going to observe if he makes any attempts to save the Emperor, and also if he will usurp or not to kind of determine our loyalty. But most importantly, we have to take back our former capital. We let it go away because of our rules. We can't actually offensively stop a siege. Especially when the rebel army is determined to fight. Usually with the AI army of a faction, if we're very strong, they pull away and break the siege. But in this case, they were willing to die. So we had to let them take it. We had no options. Uh, now we're in this race with Liu Bei's force here that could potentially siege this and take it for themselves. We don't want that. We want it back. Even though our army's not even halfway replenished, we have to make a move on it now. So that means we're just going to be sieging here. We can't offensively fight this, so we're waiting for them to charge out at us. And then hopefully with our limited forces, we can beat them back. We will be building a siege weapon. Or should we just sap? Because it's going to be multiple turns. Even if they come out, there is no way that we can actually kill all of them in a straight up fight. So it's going to be a drawn out siege. Obviously, demand surrender will work, but uh, <laughs> they're not going to take that. I'm hoping that Liu Bei's army will walk closer to us, and when we trigger it next turn potentially... Oh, it wouldn't work, right? Because they would never... It's just us, forever. Because Liu Bei can't trigger the fight for us, unless he's the one sieging, and we don't want that. It's fine. This is the setup that we have, and I'm okay with it. Obviously, the lack of units is a concern. But at least we do have a Hail of Arrows. So we could spend the money on buildings. And that's all the buildings we can build. The public order is rebounding after our heavy tax sessions. That's good. It's mainly just diplomacy. We got ourselves a new potential partner. And since we never really want to declare war on anyone, I don't mind signing these with everyone, essentially. Okay, so he's saved up some cash. And we'll try to use these excess cash to buy more land. What's a good buy? Hmm. Maybe this lumberyard? It's the only thing that has a little bit of income nearby. 18.4. Ideally, we wait for a useless item to spawn. The water clock's actually pretty good. I guess we could pay him for it. We don't really need our excess income right now. So I could give him all the cash and whatever amount of per turn that's required. Probably over a thousand. Nope, slightly under. Alright, not bad. Level 3, 100 income per turn, a little bit extra prestige. It's going to be hard for us to rank up, but um, we'll figure out a way. We want to go tall, so we probably want the food areas as well, so we're going to buy those in the future. But first, let's retake that, so let's continue here. Oh, we also forgot to do this. We you know, also forgot to do the, the courts. We could assign people. 
I don't need to make anyone look bad. Because we will never attack anyone, even if they are declared enemy of the Han. Uh, it's a good item. We're not selling it. I wonder if they'll attack us. I mean, they're definitely favored. It'd be kind of ridiculous if they don't attack us. They're about to have their turn. There we go. Yeah, we definitely want to fight it. It's going to be a weird battle. Um, their generals are not good, and they're not the ones with the items anymore. Liu Bei beat up that one. So unfortunately, we didn't get those items. This is a respawn army. If we kill these, there might be a chance we get an item. We'll see. The game plan is to duel with Yu Jin and to volley away with Tai Shi Ci and then hide the units so they're not targeted by the enemy forces. Because if they get rushed, obviously not great for us. It's a foggy day and I don't see a tree in sight. Wow. Can't be any flatter. Well, I'm gonna stay with the boys. And we'll die with the boys if we have to. And we'll go look for fights. Usually, when they are... Uh, rebel units, they are pretty willing to accept duels. We'll see. Might not be the case. They're definitely behind this tree line. We're gonna walk and just turn up the speed to make it look like they're going faster. Right, we don't want to fatigue ourselves. Not willing. What about the other two? I mean, we'll happily take a draw. But, let's see. They're waiting for the reinforcement to come up. Nobody wants to fight. Okay. Then we'll split off. Have them face Yu Jin right here so he can get to the side for a nice volley. And we're going to try to make it as nice as possible. They're so far out of vision with the fog that they can't actually see them. Which is excellent. All right, so they don't want to do any of us right now. It could change. Alright, find ourselves a good angle. Preferably not into these two actually. If we could come in here. Look at that. Pile right here. Let's do it. Don't get disrupted. Don't get disrupted. One, two, three, four. Okay. Get out. Excellent. We want to drag them this way, away from our units. Sadly, we only have four of those, so there's way too many enemies to pull this off. But like I said, we'll take a draw. We'll split them off. That's how we can get a good angle shot. They might change their mind. I'm going to let him accept so that we can know if they actively want to ask. Alright, we've got 16 seconds. The fact that he's kind of moving towards me makes me a little bit worried that he's going to attack us and disrupt our move. Like that's our angle right here. We aim for this guy to shoot that way. Now. Come on. 
I'm gonna pay attention to see if we get disrupted or not. Looks good. Ooh, they cut the animation short. He got into charge mode. That's a shame. We lost three volleys, basically, out of the potential 16 we could do. They have no relationship, right? Okay, so we could kill them without worry about healing them. Feels like we should just do a shot here. These side shots, we get swarmed. We need to be a little bit more... ...lax with the distance we give ourselves. We're trying to pull it too close. Let's try it. Yeah, let's try that unit right there. Yeah, this way we actually get to fire off our four shots, which is more important than lining up a perfect shot. Are you chasing me? Only got one more of these. Gotta make it count. I mean, he's ready to land at 360. Gotta be a shot down this way. Wonder if I can isolate her. She looks kind of alone. The spearman might respond. Yeah, gonna pull away. I'm gonna stand right here. Let him be bait. Oh, don't, 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 don't disrupt us. It's not canceled yet. He's still doing it. I'm just, I gotta take damage to get it off. And did we only get one? Ah, oh, for shame. That general. We don't want to fight him there. But we, we're okay with fighting him. It's on our terms. Comes another charge. Alright. I'm gonna back off a little. We got a little bit of damage on him. Very minor. Fatigue status, okay. We're pretty fine. Still not willing to do okay, so we gotta fight it out. I don't think we can dismount to do any sort of faster attack just because there's so many infantry around. We'll just see if we can get some damage on one guy. So we can focus him down. Okay, maybe pull after that charge. And then let's try to kill off some of the easy targets. And then just go straight through. And then get a couple of free hits on him again. Gotta be careful with this, but I think we're fine. Get back. We got the evasion. We just don't want to get swarmed, so let's get out. Kite them a little. They'll chase. He's half health. Okay, we can try to kill him. Oh, you're back? We'd love to kill you first. I mean, Yujin's our main damage source with his gold weapons. Alright. He's kind of wavering. We don't want to get trapped with infantry, so... Kite him out a little. Oh, he stayed. He stayed. He stayed. Okay. I think we got him. 
At least a route. I don't know if we should stay with the crowd. Yeah, maybe not. Let's be patient. We got time. He routed. Okay, he might come back though with that health. Okay, we can't just charge straight through. He's gonna come back. We're gonna make sure we get him. Okay, he's he's gone. Let's see if we can kill him. 5k is actually pretty hard to kill on the road. We stay on the horse. We might get lucky. Two wax, two wax. Come on. You didn't, especially you. A lot of fatigue level chasing him off the map. Alright, it's fine. They lost sight of us as well. Well, they see us now. They're very conservative with the... Is she a healer? Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, we're gonna go through that sword unit, get to the other side, punish the healer. Oh, the spearmen. Look at the crowd. Yeah, if we get disbanded... Oh, man, if we had poison volley... Uh, not poison volley, but hail of arrow right now. Well, we'll probably get disrupted, but still. These are peasant warriors. They can't actually knock us down. She's very smart. She runs towards the spear, like, almost instantly. All right, we'll just pick off a free unit then. All these peasant units. All these range units. Okay, I guess we get to hit him a couple times. The archers won't actually hit us, so this is fine. Oh, what are you doing? All right. That was bad for a second there. I think he was just chasing the archer. It looks like Yujin got this. It's gonna help us carry the melee portion of this. All right, so he's done. This looks like a soft spot. This doesn't give us anything. Well, that's not a clean charge. Are they fatigued? Oh, very fatigued. That makes sense. All right, so we can try to kill her or we can just try to rest up. See if he bounced back. Yeah, he's gone. Right, we're going to stand here for a little bit. They're pretty tired too, some of them. Waiting for these legs to go a little green. Doesn't look like it's happening. Not giving us a break. Let us take a break. Alright, we'll go to the forest. That's how we can get out of vision real quick. When we have about five minutes left, we'll start leading them towards our units so that we can actually get some free hits on them and not risk getting killed. Ideally, we knock her out first. Because if she charges into the units and then does the morale hit, that's going to really hurt us. All right, we're here. We're we're fresh now. Let's go. You didn't get go to your spear formation. Oh, now you did. We got a couple hits on her. All right, we'll charge through this area. Much better charge now that we're not tired. Oh, too clumpy. Why can't we have Hell Vero right now? I'm surprised she's not using her ability. The morale hit would hit us pretty hard, especially Taishas with his like less than 30. Oh, we'll both route actually from one hit. It's a melee attack, so I guess if we're kiting around and just, you know, moving, she can't actually hit us. Or else it's actually a big risk that we just get knocked down. Uh, we can feast on some of these units, especially the peasant ones. Alright, disappear into the trees. Surprise attack. Knock down another guy. I'm trying to lead them over. And then maybe pick off some of the range units. There we go. 
A little bit risky, but I don't think the spears are braced. Coron actually has the ability to shut down, right? So we could technically use him to fight her. Because there is the risk that she just slams us and then we just get routed. So I think once we kill off both of... Yep, yeah, all the range units are gone. So that gives us the most shooting time possible. Let's lead them over. Alright guys, come get us. Like I said, we're not going to be able to kill all of them to take this without an offensive battle, but we're going to damage them pretty hard. Are you ready, boys? They still don't see us. This fog is thick. Wow. Still completely invisible. Now they see us. Alright, Coron, come up here together. Make sure she can't use her ability. We'll let them get shot first, and then we'll break through to stop the general. I trust my crossbowmen to kill these guys. And to help them out, we'll charge through one of the peasants. Oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now she's willing. I definitely want extra experience, but we need to be the one asking for the duel. Coral, stay right next to her so he can't do any of the ability usage. Easy kill with a gold weapon. Now we just mop up. Let our crossbow get some kills. We chase. I mean, technically, we want to chase and kill as many as we can. It will reduce our siege. So we got five minutes. Let's go three times speed. See how much damage we can do here. Actually, so it took some, not some, but lots of damage. Regent's going to hit rank three as well from that. The duel is a lot of experience. And he was leading the army. We did that on purpose. That just is too far out. All right, everyone tried. Even Coral. I think that's gonna get routed. Only one left. 88 though, that's a big group. Maybe there's a chance that Tychus can catch up to that. 37 seconds, maybe he won't even make it. They have a coronal kill like 60 plus here. Good for him. Oh, we hit time. We can go beyond timer for chase? Did not know that. I guess it's because we're the defending side, so the clock only works for us, not against us. That one last white wave veteran. He's like, oh no, I went the wrong way. I should have just gone toward the edge of the map this whole time. Now they're sending three generals at me. I am not Lu Bu. We don't need to fight three on one. Look at that body flying. You'd seen with the momentum. All right, nice little heroic victory for us. Should be plenty of experience, maybe some captures. Yeah, we don't get to fight a lot in pacifist battles. It's nice to get one of these. We did get a capture. Uh, we're going to release because um, that's the only way to get some value from this. Well, maybe we execute to hope they replace him with a general that has a gold item, because 200 is really nothing. I actually want replenishment here, because once again, money isn't a big deal.
They're attacking the north. Cao Cao is continuing his vassalization streak. Sun Ce has betrayed Yuan Shu. Liu Bao is starting to vassalize. So all the big factions are vassalizing. There's a disease here. We're going to use it on the enemy instead of us. I don't need this. I just, just make sure it's not on us. I don't want to spend a thousand. Replacement general with items. That paid off. Okay. I mean, we have to keep sieging. We have no other option. We did get a level up, though. Two level up. So, Yu Jin has a very nice defensive buff, which works so well for what we're trying to do. Defensive gameplay. But I think first we... Like, all these are good. Except for this one's actually not useful. So we want to go up. I don't think capture rate's that important for us, especially since we don't fight that many battles. So I think we just boost our range unit. Firing rate when commanding, own army, range, armor, piercing damage. Works very well for us. Composure. And then we just work our way over. Feels like the way to do it. There is the same thing, I think. So we can, like with strategists and sentinel only armies, we're essentially going to have super high armor piercing damage units. And given that our unique unit is a crossbow unit, that is exactly what we want. Ooh, the choices on the buildings. So this actually gives us more prestige and it's probably what we will build first. And if we have money, we, we look for trades. That is very expensive because it's giving him food. I just want to know what his prices are. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not going to work anymore. Do we have any other neighbors? Taoqian, Xiapi, Donghai. Also not sure if he's going to give us... A good price. A farmland for 25.2. Okay, I guess we could look north. Wilson Zion is our neighbor too. That salt mine, 23.3. The fact that, you know, it's has income on it. It's definitely attractive. I don't know if we actually border him. Oh, we do. Right, so it seems like, I mean, there's still Cao Cao as well, but our boundary, he has like a level 7 city there. That's going to be out of this world expensive. I think the only thing we can buy is that salt mine. And I'm not even sure if we could afford this with how much we have on us. So, all the cash, which is probably not going to be worth a lot. Yeah, it's not going to work, unfortunately. We have to save up money before we can do that. Oh well. Um, quick check of diplomacy. Actual diplomacy. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Maybe he's been saving up? Yeah. To give it over to us. Oh, we had it. Maybe 70 is even okay. No, overestimated his generosity. 48. Really? Yeah, these two are a tad low. Sword it for us. 
Okay, the 5.1 and 3.6 might be worth our time. Small factions, can't expect too much. Okay, how about cash? Is Sun Tzu's relationship, yeah, it's gonna trend, but it's ready over 15, so it's not gonna... Actually, it will improve if I just make him one payment. The face becomes green, and his opinion of military access should go away. Oh, it didn't go up. Still 12, negative 12. Why? Probably 92. We'll take it. Close enough. Alright. That's that. No, we're keeping that item. That's a decent price, actually, for a common item. Let's see if he wants round two. Nope. Yellow Turban has given up. Oh, he's going to try to save the Emperor. We have a son. I mean, we, that's our second kid already. We had a daughter, and now we have a son. A champion. Hmm. But the daughter, you know, being a commander looks like leadership material. I don't think we can do much. We're trying to recover this to put another administrator down. Buildings are building. I can't go any taller here without more food. I can't convert this without going to negative food. So no more extra income here. We're waiting for reforms, actually, which will come soon. Yeah, we can't buy anything. We have 10k saved up, though. Maybe... Depends on how he feels about 10k. Right, he could just be like, that's laughable amount of money. Or willing to give it all. Yeah, it's doable now, because it's under 15. So I'm guessing you will take like a thousand. Wow. What a greedy man. This is why you died. Wow. This is really expensive. But this is how we expand. This is the only way we can expand. So we do it. It's only level one? What garbage is this? Okay, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Just make mental note. Gong Sun Zan, it's a ripoff. Let's continue. Uh, right, we haven't been looking for turncoats. Probably shouldn't have done it before the big money play, but the only one that's slightly interesting is Samba. But even then, we would need more than one slot because ideally we will get him and then try to maybe get Lady Mi or someone like that from Tao Tian's faction to join us. Tao Tian is just too hard to spy on. Gong Sun Zan doesn't have any unique characters. Maybe Zhao Yun, um, possibility. But once again, look at the money costs. I don't think we're there yet, but we should pay more attention. I should check every turn. Um, just like diplomacy should be checked every turn. Yep, for people like Liu Chong here. You, who's a very generous prince. When you're born into the royal household, money is just the object. Yeah, but 2.2 .2 is a little low. See, the price he offers for Water Clock is so much worse. I should equipped it. So many people are asking for it.
The Emperor gave us food. We should trade the eavesdropper. The Emperor cares about us. Alright, Obey, be nice. We're gonna see Emperor give us 10 food for 10 turns. We trade 10 food for 10 turns. The Emperor just wants us to buy more land. The big brain play. Alright, take all our cash. There might be buildings we could build, but even so, I think we would try to secure land first. 888? Liu is into the. Ah, oh, Liu you ruined it! You ruined it. Okay, I can I can fix it. Oh, he's not greedy. Oh, that sorry, I meant this. No, I actually meant this. I got so confused. What was our actual value? There we go. Would 50-50 work? 50-50, What are all these nice numbers? Alright, that fishing port gave us five food. Wow, no big. Good job. He's actually upgrading stuff. That's his capital, which is now isolated, so he can only trade with us. But he's... <laughs> It's like, we have you surrounded. The minute you get your next trade route, has to be with us. The trade blockade. Alright, we're just waiting for that. We gotta make sure we remember to do our courts next turn. But things look pretty good. The Emperor love us. And he will love us. Alright, no one that we really need to grab. Let's go. Okay, the governor of Yang province and the bandit of Yang province. I mean, I'm guessing they're forced by Sun Tzu, right, to work together. See, armor. Armor is a good bargaining chip for... Buildings, settlements. And she might be a good enough administrator. Yeah, I think we keep her. Willing to spy. First things first, Grand Commandant will be... I mean... It... Yeah, I guess we don't want them to become administrators, so she's going to be the administrator. Ah, uh, I don't want that. No, these are terrible. <laughs> these are terrible. Maybe if I get something to change their mind, potentially. We technically need this for a lot of the buildings. We can upgrade our private workshop and our state workshop to level 3. But there's an argument for trying to finish this first to get the satisfaction boost, which we actually really need. Character salary decrease is nice. It's cheaper spies, more bonuses for spies down the line. Buildings can wait. The money that we're going to just basically save is just going to be buying you more land. So I think it's going to be fine. Uh, I doubt this is going to change because we didn't do anything too grand and nothing to really interfere with any of this. This is the only one I might consider, but even this, like, it wouldn't speed this up. Like, six turns of losing supply. Three more turns, we're done. So it's like, 
not really worth it. I can keep her here because I will be making her a uh, administrator in a few turns once we take it. And then she wouldn't be too mad. She has the right skills. She technically could do a little bit of assignments in between. Make us a little bit of money since this is still three turns away. She's not going to like it here. But you're going to make us the most money here. So um, get to work. Yeah, I'm not doing any of those. That's next turn. Gonna we'll make the Emperor really love us. Yeah, potentially, but I'd rather just keep this empty. Like, what if, you know, a unique character becomes available? That would be a real win. We have an armor that we can trade. So that's probably what we will be doing. Whose land can we get? Gong Sun Zhan is uh, not the best partner, but he has the best lands. So... He still has the trade port up here, so we can still trade with him even if we take this. I want to know the price of that. Anping. Anping. Here? Pingyuan. That's the one to complete the... Commandery for us. 26. Okay, so his food one is 26. Just want to know. And we can compare with Liu Bei. Who can give us the food here. That's going to be too pricey. That's going to be a capital. 27 for the farm. Wuhai port. Hmm, I'm not sure if I want that. Okay, this is the cheapest and probably the better place to grab. It just connects to our land a little bit better. Oh, can I not do this right now? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's got to cancel something. We don't have a lot of cash saved up, but it's doable. We just got to figure out what his actual 15 is. He's not greedy. Okay, not greedy at all. Wait. Can't make it work. Ah, oh, rats. We gotta save up some more money. Next turn, then. Yeah, there's nothing to build. We could convert this now because we have other food sources. Alright, let's just end then. We got an inspector? We must have gotten it in between the turns. So next time we're going to see an inspector. Well, we're going to use that for buildings, so no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They're asking us to pay for his inspector? I think that's what it was. I don't want to pay for an inspector. It's the inspector we traded him. He couldn't find a character to put it on? That's interesting. He either has a lot of items, or he doesn't have a lot of characters. Alright, now we can make this deal. We even got an extra item to throw in here. Whoa, 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 price hike. He lost food. Yeah, he can't trade it to us. It's going to be negative food on him. Okay. What about Sapi? It's doable, but I, I I don't know if we want that. Make it cheap, make it cheap, make it cheap. We need more items to make that work. Yeah. 
All right, bummer. We'll just build buildings then. Bit unfortunate. Administrator level up. Um, I don't expect him to fight anytime soon, so maybe just either this or get the five points of public water. That's for population. I think we'll go for the public water. We can try to raise taxes after that. Two more turns, right? Oh no, one more turn. I wonder if they will surrender at this point, actually. Oh, well, I guess we already asked, so we can't ask again. Well, the, the key point if it's one turn, she's got to cancel this now. Even though I think it just activated for one turn. I think she gets experience for that one turn, though. Alright, we get to do this. Less options. All right, Liu Bell. Why do I feel like I signed these before? I, I could have sworn. Are they getting canceled because we're a vassal? So things like shift and we can sign them. Like someone declared war on someone and like it broke because our liege and stuff. I don't know. Feels like I signed it with Obel before. He's super generous, so. Not complaining. Getting there, getting there. It's paying us so much. I feel like we can potentially maybe find some more trade partners, but let's get our capital, former capital, back. Oh, they're going to put up a fight at the end. Um, It's decisive already. But we know we can fight it without taking much casualties already. So let's fight it. That way we get maybe two chances to capture him. Yeah, long sieges means we're out of military supplies. The weather in Beihai seems very fickle. Thick fogs into heavy rain. I'm still looking for duels. I'm not. They're going to be behind the forest again. They're just waiting for their reinforcements. Makes perfect sense. I don't think any of them is willing. Oh. They still don't see them because they're just so far away. I'm just gonna... yeah. I'm just gonna pepper them. It's not gonna matter who we hit. They don't have many units. There's no clumps anymore. It's barely anything. Keep the safe distance. Just get the hits. Get out. Get the hits. Get out. Lure them to our units. We have more than enough units to kill them. Oh, he died in one hit. Cool. Aim at the general. It's 
20 seconds. Let's guide them over correctly. Good enough. Look how many units we routed there. I'll pull out. She does have that ability, so we gotta grab Coro again. We're gonna try to kill her. It's one turn till it ends anyway, so killing them now, not killing them, same thing. We did murder all three, so there's no like capture chance. He has he's level four though, so there's there's the resiliency, but I think the item drop is more realistic if we can pull that off. Question mark? Nope. We got it back. We got some experience. And uh yeah. That is expensive. We're gonna let it burn out itself. I am not spending money to fix a building that should be free. We are gonna convert that back. And I wanna convert this back. I don't really need the satisfaction, do I? Yeah, I don't need it. Not anymore. They gotta get some supply back so they can heal. We did give them the water clock, yes we did. We got a war axe from the fight, post battle loot. That's gonna help a ton. Hey, you're back! You've been around. You've been to the faction you have fondness for and you didn't stay? See, I don't trust you now. That doesn't sound right. Can we make this work now? That's gonna matter where I put my administrator. Because Ping is definitely a pretty lucrative with the salt mine. Prices are going up. Inflation in three kingdoms as well. Let's do it. Uh, we can do one food to tide that over. Now it's just... I don't know if our money is going to be enough to get close to 15. Uh, it's not. Not even close. Not even close. Yeah. That's not going to work. Um, the only trick I can think of is we flip flop these so we're like we don't build this and then we give this to him for the city which is what we kind of did with don't that way we trade it back for cheap later or else it's like we can't even make the deal remotely close to working but now we can make it kind of work pretty cheaply even We also canceled this, so we got plenty of cash back. And he can kind of develop it for us a little bit. Hopefully. Level it up to at least level 3. And, um... We'll get it back later. Shenzai,你我双方定能融洽相处。很荣幸再相见。yeah, very manageable. Matter of fact, matter of fact, we'll get it back now. We don't have any cash on us, do we? I can offer food. Two point, two point. It's not letting me click. Yeah, that's exactly the combo. And then we make the administrator here. I don't want this. Perfect. No administrator in Beihai, which makes sense a little bit because it's like a peasantry commandery and all our administrators are the commerce industry type. So salt mine, trade ports, iron mine, not bad, not bad. I 
I'm going to check out the other characters. Maybe someone has items. Sort of. Not exactly what you call something you crave to get. No one good here. The commander girl at the bottom, I think, is the wife and the heir of the faction. She has armor. But I don't think that's enticing enough for me to go for. He's just not very rich. Can't really blame him. Probably could have asked for cash. Yeah, see, he has trade routes. Yudin, Yudin has ports, so next spring or whenever we prestige up or sometime we can get more trade routes somehow. We definitely want to get these deals done for the trade monopoly maintenance. That's probably a good deal. Maybe cash. Oh, he's been saving up. If it's more than 500, yep, it's good. Maybe that can be the case for Huangzu as well, because I know he doesn't have much... I'm going to take 400. His per turn's really bad. We'll wait on those. That means I can probably build something? I can't build anything with a thousand? I guess it's a building slot issue too. Okay, I mean, that's good. The map actually looks pretty good. We have four full commanderies. Yeah, I'll fight him, but um, could we talk about our payments? I know you're wealthy. Okay, we, we went too crazy there, but you get the point. It's going to be a lot. Okay, that's a huge jump real quick. But way more than what he was asking. More than double. And Yan Baihu is not going to bother us. And even if he comes, his army is going to be super depleted. Ooh, another silver item. Alrighty, I think things look great. You know, we have a healthy economy going. We got good trade routes, five. We're trying to get more, of course. And if you look at our current situation, we're paying out 9,000 per turn. 2,000 of it's to our liege, which can't be taken back. But all other 7,000 will eventually get canceled when the time is up. Uh, just like we're getting money, you know, from all sorts of deals that will go away. So we're still net positive in diplomacy, even if it all expires. Trade, obviously a big chunk of our income, commandery income, that's without changing the taxes. Uh, if we keep improving the public order, we can, you know, increase our taxes in the future. But right now it's it's fine. Uh, our next target, purchase target, I guess, is... I don't know, actually. There's not a lot of good land in this area. That's That's a fact. Maybe we need to go south. Like, we could use the war with Yan Baihu as an excuse to maybe build out our full army and sell them down and siege out one of Yan Baihu's territories, which should be here. Um, and then we can start purchasing land around that. That's a potential idea. We'll see if it actually works. And uh, that's going to be the goal. We are trying to find ways to find prestige. As food comes back, because we're trading away a lot of food as well. We probably want to go tall in a few more places. Like at least a city build here. A city build here as well. And a city build here. So we're, we're going to need about maybe eight more food. Uh, we definitely have capacity for it. We just got to pick up the right reform. And uh, we'll go from here. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you all next time. Bye!